Listen, perhaps you got a lot of work to do and you just don't have enough time. Or you're like me and you're lazy. And you know, I'm the king of lazy. You know, I've mastered the art of laziness. So in this video, I want to talk about five very quick but simple, you know, motion graphic after effects techniques here that can help you with putting together quick, you know, promo videos, introductions, you know, anything that has to deal with putting a lot of content in front of your viewers, you know, and these five techniques are going to help you get work done extremely quick and help you save a tremendous amount of time. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is having an excellent day today and hopefully it's been a productive one. And if it hasn't, don't worry about it. I'm going to share these five you know, animation, motion graphic shortcuts in this tutorial. It's gonna be a fun one. You're gonna pick them up really quick and you know, it's gonna look like you've done a lot of work, but really, you know what? It's probably only gonna take you a few minutes to implement any of these. So, you know, let's do it. Let's jump right in. And as always, you can download our project files for free if you wanna follow along with this tutorial. Link is in the description. Now we're starting off our first technique with a title and a background already in here, but we're gonna be able to build this out into a longer sequence with different titles and video really quick, but I'm just starting with this. So in our first technique, I wanna talk about compositing and specifically adding a creative effect to help separate the title and the background or whatever graphic you may have. So what we could do here is a really quick effect of to effect color correction and grab tint. We'll come here to map to white and we can select any solid you know color here like red and or blue or purple. You get some really unique looks and you go ahead and select that color. Then we grab map to black and we can do the opposite color. So maybe like blue in this case, like a dark blue. And that'll kind of help fill in those shadows. And by using this technique, you can create a very unique color correction on top of your footage, which helps separate you know, your title from the background and looks really nice. So a really quick thing you can do fast. All right, second thing we need to do is animate our titles. And we have a very simple title animation here that will be very effective for a slideshow like this. So really easy. We can go into our title layer once we have it typed out, open that up and we'll come here to animate and we'll just add a position and we can bring the Y position down just like that. Go to add, go to property and add an opacity and set that down to 0%. And we can come here to about the beginning of our timeline. We can open up the range selection one and add a keyframe for start. We'll move forward maybe to almost a second and we can set this up to 100%. And we'll make both our keyframes easy ease keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. So now you have a very subtle title animation that's going to flow very well uh, with the entire sequence and it's just going to be moving because we also want to create something that's going to be good work. All right, so for our third technique, we need to be able to spruce this up because, you know, we don't have any other graphics in here. It's just the title and we could go boom, boom, boom through the slides. But you know, by adding a few extra quick objects in here, it can make it look like we did a lot more work than we actually did. And these shapes are super easy to bring into your composition. So for example, what we can do is grab, say, the ellipse tool. You can turn off the fill and click on the word stroke and turn that on. And you can draw out a perfect circle like this. And what we can do here is hit T on keyboard for opacity. I'll click the stopwatch to add an expression. We'll type in wiggle, open parenthesis 10 comma 100 close parenthesis just like that. So if I just solo this layer really quick, you'll see that it's going to flicker and it's gonna give it like a quick animation. And what I'll do is I'll grab our out point and I'll just bring it in to only be up here for like, you know, a few frames. You know, maybe like 10 to 20 frames at most. Maybe 10 frames is probably what's good. All right, then I'm gonna go to edit, duplicate, and I'll create another one. All I'm gonna do is move it around my composition to a random, random place, duplicate it, move that around, duplicate it, and I'm just gonna move these around randomly around my composition. And just like that, boom, we have something random. Then also what I can do is duplicate it again and hit S on keyboard for scale, and I can scale it up, like I said, to make it a little bit more, like add a little bit more work than we actually did. Put that like in a corner there, duplicate that. So we have a little bit of a variation here. And then what we'll do is we'll take each of these layers and we can offset them in time randomly. This way there'll be something that looks like it's constantly animating on our screen which is nice so now we have these nice little circles going on here with, with our animation and another quick object that we can apply without actually doing a lot of work is like just a plus symbol so we can grab the textile tool and we can grab a cool font and add in the plus symbol just like that and what i suggest doing here maybe doing like a lighter font we can go into that opacity type that expression in there you know it's the same exact expression and as before, we can just duplicate it and move around our composition in random spots. 
So I went ahead and put these around our composition and now we have a really quick, you know, graphic overlay here that just adds a little bit more detail to our, you know, title and footage background. And before we move on to our next technique, I gotta say thank you to our sponsors, which is me, of course. So right here is our motion graphic starter pack and our extension. This pack has 500 templates in it and for example if we wanted to spruce this up we could just add some accent graphics really quick just by clicking the apply button to our composition and within a click we've been able to enhance our composition with our accent graphics instead of having to create something cool from scratch and of course add more we have over 160 uh, graphics like this in our motion graphic starter pack so now i've been able to help variate our composition by adding a whole nother graphic set in here as well and not only do we have motion graphics, we have titles, animated backgrounds, logo animations all here in this extension that which you could preview everything before you apply it. And for example, if we're looking for a simple title here, we can find a title that we want, preview it and click apply. And now we have a new title animation in here, which we can go into that composition and we can quickly change out our title. You know, if we don't need everything, we can turn off that layer and resize our graphics really quick. And our title automatically updates in our main composition with that title and the title animation. And we can easily swap over to our other pack. So we have our accent graphics pack, which is just for accent motion graphics. And we also have our super customizable title pack. So if you want to check out any of our templates off of our website, like the motion graphics starter pack, I will link those below. And if you do pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. A big part of this tutorial, which is our fourth technique, and don't worry, it's a really quick one, is being able to put together an effective, you know, slideshow so you can put multiple, you know, graphics together and be able to build out a legitimate sequence. So what we'll do in our tutorial composition is once we're happy with this comp, what we'll do is we'll select everything, every layer in here, and we'll go up to layer pre-compose and we'll just call it slide one, whatever you want to call it, graphic one, that's cool. Okay. So now we're in our main comp here and we can, you know, kind of trim this up. So we'll grab our out point, trim it up. So we can find slide one right here and we can just duplicate it. Then we have slide two, we can go in here and change out our title to be whatever we need to say and change out our footage. And a quick tip, you can change out video by selecting your video layer, go into your next video clip and you can hold down alt on your keyboard and you can just hover over that and drag that right in there and you don't even have to do anything. So fairly quick, you can just switch out a title and a video clip you know really fast and we'll go back into our main composition we can bring in slide two and we'll just put that kind of on top of the previous one like that and we can cut it up okay so now we want to be able to put these two together we just don't want to have like the simple cut into each other so what we'll do very simple is we'll go up to layer new null object all right we'll grab slide two here which is the new one we just did and hit peer and keyboard for position and you can just bring this underneath the composition. Then we'll grab both of these layers, this, both of the slides that we created, and we'll parent it to the null object by grabbing the pick whip right here. Parent that. Awesome. So now, all we're gonna do is grab our null object, go right to where the second clip comes on, we'll hit PR and keyboard for position, we'll add a keyframe for it, and we'll move forward, and we'll grab our Y position, and we'll bring it up. And we'll just have it match right back in that composition, you know, full frame, everything, going for it and we'll make those keyframes easy easy keyframes by hitting f9 on our keyboard so now if we turn on our motion blur for our layers so now that's pretty awesome we have a very simple slide uh, going on in there and i really like that super clean and very professional so i went ahead and added in a third additional slide to our composition all you have to do is make sure that's you know that slides underneath your previous ones like we just did but for our fifth and final technique, I want to be able to create an alpha mat title where you simply kind of have like the video overlaid into the title uh, like this. And that's really easy to do. So, you know, it just kind of helps spruce things up. So, you know, you have the actual regular background here, you know, and you want to be able to like break these two up, just add a little bit of variation to it. So what we can do is go into that composition and all I have in here is the video and the title. What we can do is go to layer new solid and I'll make it black. You can make it any color that you want and I'll click OK. And I'll put the solid underneath our title. OK, and we can toggle switch the modes until we see the track mat. And for our solid layer, we're going to set this to alpha inverted mat. So now we'll be able to see through our title and see the video behind it. Now, one thing about this, this works better on larger words. So when you have like less characters, uh, it looks a little bit better in my opinion so just kind of keep that in mind so now when you're able to expand out your promo video slideshow whatever you're working on with these techniques you know it looks like we did a lot of work but these were very simple techniques um, and very duplicatable to help you just produce work really quick 
uh, so you can save time and still do amazing work for your client, for your business, whoever you work for. You know, there's no doubt in my mind if you're into motion graphics or a video editor or like you're just an overall video producer, you know, you're always going to have content that's going to need to be displayed effectively. So hopefully now you know some quick techniques that can help you put together your video really quick. So if you did enjoy this video, which I hope you did, please hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on our channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. Always be creating.